got us pretty good and poke. He's thumping. <laughs> He's thumping. Look at here. Folks, what I'm after today is what we call titty brim. Now, this ain't a bad brim right here. He's pretty good size, big as your hand. But the ones I'm looking for, the reason we call them titty brim is you can't hold him in your hand like that. You got to lay him on your side right there to get the hook out. And that's what they've been known in these parts around here for years. Of course, now again, that ain't no bad one. Now let me show y'all what I'm using today. What I got what they call Lively rest. Jump right in my hand, y'all believe that? Now what I'm fishing with, I'm gonna go ahead and put him on the hook so he don't lose him because I had a hard time catching these this morning. You see that? That's called a hardback or a grass shrimp. And I got him on eight pound test line and a little old, I think that's a number four wire hook. Got my split shot up about a foot because I want that thing to kind of fall slow. It's got a little old two inch bobber. I got eight pound test line on here. Uh, I got an eight pound test leader, just big game line on some eight pound braid that looks like dental floss. I don't know whether I should be fishing or flossing my teeth, but little old micro series rod, little old small abu reel. And the reason why I went with the eight pound test is. Y'all probably ain't gonna believe this, but you see that little old thing right there? You can catch some big fish on this. I'm here on the St. John's River, and it's summertime, it's July, and you liable to catch a catfish, a big back bass, hook into a giant red bass or red drum. You just don't know. So I went with a little heavier line pitching around these docks. Y'all come on, let's see if we can't catch this one of them big titty brim. Oh man, I turned my head to look at y'all and he nailed it. So many people has moved in and everything. Look at here, y'all. Come here. Y'all look here with a copper head. He's a pretty one. Let me show y'all something. I don't want to lose this thing. But he's in the palm of my hand, and I'm pretty sure that's a size four hook. Just a wire hook. And he's about as long as that hook. And all I'm doing is you can hook them either way. I just like to go in right there, kind of about the throat area. He'll still kick around and all just a little bit. I was talking about something and I got sidetracked with the shrimp. Y'all, I'm losing my mind, y'all. Oh, I was talking about my tying the hook on. See? I think today's the 15th of July. I'll be 50 years old in four more days. Uh, I never realized just how fast you'd lose your eyesight and your mind. You come down here and you can do this and you can use cricket. And you can catch you a mess of fish. But I've learned years ago, fishing this river or any kind of lake, because you can get these grass shrimp out of lakes too. You get around the edge, you gotta learn what to look for. But once you learn what to look for, where them grass shrimp will be, you take this mitt, the low mitt, Ain't much to it. Let me show y'all. That's all it is. But you can take that and run it along and get you some bait.
But what I was getting at is the more natural bait you can use, the more fish you're going to catch. Y'all watching that court? There you go. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I, I couldn't have timed that no better, could I? Well, I love to hold my mm, first hook and boy, and they go to shaking that. Another nice little bluegill. Not too bad. Pretty. I've never seen a fish that's so camera shy. Give it the old chain to get hung up in the net. This part will not be in the video. What we got, what we got. Another little copperhead. Check you out. Ma'am, are you serious? Kind of dummy gets his hook in the net twice. Got us a good one. Got us a good one. Got us a good one. <clears throat> Let me get the hold of you. Another good one. Not too shabby. I like all the lines and stuff in it. The colors are pretty. All right. Time for my secret release. Probably knock the shrimp off. I hit the pile. Nope. I, I, oh, I don't know what I got, folks. Uh, but it's a good one. This might be one of them... We've been looking for. Oh, he's churning. Oh, he's gonna pull a little drag. <laughs> nope. Nope. No to brim. I want y'all to see this. I'm get my net. Y'all remember, I told y'all earlier, I'm gonna catch anything off of them little old shrimp. <laughs> hey. Mm, oh, we got that little wire hook stuck in him. Not too shabby. Well, folks, I'm fixing to take it to the hill. This tide is ripping now. It's kind of hard for me to control the boat and all. And I've caught enough. I've had a good time. I've been out here a couple hours. And I don't know. I probably caught 25, 30 uh, brim. I caught one bass. But I've had a good time. And, uh, hey, I encourage y'all, if you've never tried grass shrimp, or don't know much about them. I'm sure there's probably videos on the YouTube to show you how to catch them. Uh, I wanted to myself show y'all how I got them this morning, but I had to kind of work for them uh, a little bit different than where you normally get them. Uh, like I say, usually I can get all I want right out here out of these grass beds. There ain't no grass beds no more. But anyway, I appreciate it, y'all. I thank y'all, y'all that watch the comments, all of my subscribers. I really appreciate it. All y'all to email me and uh, ask me questions. Hey, don't ever email me and say, hey, I hate to bother you or, you know, what would you do? I love it. 
I mean, it, it just tickles me. So uh, it tells me that, you know, hey, there's people out there that wants to give these things a try. Maybe enjoy some of the things that I do. But anyway, I've rambled on enough. We'll see y'all next time.